So in this challenge review, we're gonna look at how to load the levels when we click these buttons. So the first thing we should have done, or you should have done, is hook up the co-op button. So to do that, in our main menu, we go ahead and we create a new method called public void load co-op mode. And we'll add a debug.login here for co-op mode loading. Let's go ahead and save this. Select our co-op button. Go down to the on click. We're gonna add a new event. The object is canvas. The function we're looking for is on the main menu. And we're looking for load co-op mode. Now, it's also important to note that the co-op mode would only show as long as the variable is public. If it's a private variable or private method, you will not be able to see it through this dropdown, so it must be public. So here we go, we have our co-op load. If we go ahead and save our scene, let's run this. You'll see now that if I type, if I hit the single player button, it says single player game loading. And if I click the co-op button, it says co-op mode loading. So now that leads us to how do we, how do we actually load a scene? Well, let's head on over to Google and let's look at how we load a scene in Unity. Search for how to load a scene in Unity. So how to load a scene in Unity. And you'll see here that the first link is the Unity scripting API scene management scene manager dot load scene. Now it's okay if that doesn't make sense to you. Maybe it doesn't make sense to me either. Let's read this and figure out how to use it. So here loads the scene by its name or index in build settings. In most cases, to avoid pauses or performance hiccups while loading, you should use the asynchronous version of this command, which is load scene async. Now this here doesn't apply to us. It's for more intermediate type games and intermediate type topics. So what I'm interested in now is going down to the code description. Only specifying the scene name or scene build index will load the scene. And you'll see here, how do we call this? Scene manager dot load scene. And then here, the name of the scene. And then you can choose if it's an additive scene or not. Additive will basically, if you have multiple levels, you can, you can load levels um, as like parts at a time. So once again, though, we're not worried about anything with additive or um, any type of asynchronous work. We're just creating a simple load scene of our game. So what we're interested in though is the scene manager load scene. Now another thing to note here is how did he, how is he able to type scene manager? Well, the reason why is because he's using a namespace using unity engine management, which is a library to access scene loading capabilities in unity. So let's hop back over to our code and let's go ahead and actually create this. So we know that the code we're interested in using is the scene manager load scene. So here let's add our using statement. So we need to incorporate the library for scene loading, which is using unity engine dot UI. I'm sorry, unity engine dot scene management. And then we're looking for a method called scene manager dot load scene. So for example, here I can say scene manager dot load scene. And you'll see here, I have a tooltip with four ideas in here. So I'm interested in the first one, which says load scene. I can load it by the in index of the scene level. And I might not know what that is, but let's keep looking. Ah, here we go. I can load the scene by a name. So string scene name. Because it's a string, I use the quotes, and then I can actually put the name of the scene. So if I head back into Unity here under my scenes, what is the name of my scene? Well, it's single player. So I'm gonna copy this exactly how it's spelled here. I'm gonna head back into our code, and we're gonna go ahead and paste that in here. So now what we're doing is we're saying scene manager, we're gonna load scene single player when we click the single player button. And same for the co-op, we'll go ahead and copy the name. Copy that name, head back into Visual Studios, and we're gonna do the same thing. 
when you click the load co-op mode, we're going to say scene manager, we're going to load a scene, and the scene we're going to load is co-op mode. We'll save this, and let's go ahead and just test this out. Go ahead and run it, and we'll go ahead and click single player. Now, nothing happened, and actually my game erred. If you go to the console, and this probably happened for you as well, you'll see here that it says scene single player couldn't be loaded because it has not been added to the build settings or the asset bundle has not been loaded. To add a scene to the build settings, use the menu, file, build settings. The error is literally telling you exactly what to do. Build settings, use the menu, file, build settings. So I go to menu, file, build settings. You'll see here that the only scene my actual game is aware of is the main menu. So what I wanna do is I wanna just drag my single player in there. I also wanna drag my co-op mode in there. You'll see now I have three scenes and you'll see here that they're indexed zero, one, and two, which is where that tooltip came from. So if I wanted to load them by the index instead of the text, I can. I can load single player by index one, which means I'd be able to simply change this to a one. And then this could be a two or I can actually just keep it as a string. Personally, in my experience, there is no difference when it comes to performance by loading through a string versus a simple int like that. Now, when you're adding levels additively, there may be a performance issue with it. However, for something simple like this, whatever makes more sense for you, stick to that. Okay, so we added it to the build settings. Let's go ahead and close it, and let's go ahead and rerun our game. Save your scene run the game, and now what should happen is if I click single player, it loads the single player game, and audio and everything starts. And if we stop playing, we go back to the main menu. If we play again, and if we click the co-op mode, we're now in the co-op scene. Now, for some reason though, my player two has disappeared. I'm not sure where that went. Let me go ahead and check on that. Oh, okay, it's just stacked on top there. That's perfectly fine. So um, as you can see, everything is working great. And one thing I do wanna fix is in my co-op mode here. Oh, it actually is positioned there. Oh, you know what? That's because when the game starts, I believe it centers the position. We'll fix that when we get into the gameplay. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed the challenge review and I will see you in the next video.